With YouTube demonetizing independent media, please consider becoming a patron today for just a dollar per month. Link below. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater. And you know, last year's Power Rangers reboot was a fun movie. It, it was a legitimately fun movie, one that I had a great deal of, of, of uh, entertainment with and one that I wanted to see more from. And unfortunately, that six part franchise that they had been plotting out will probably never come to pass. And that uh, not only has to do with maybe some lower than expected box office returns, but also the fact here that uh, Hasbro has now acquired Saban's brands of Power Rangers and other entertainment assets for five hundred and twenty two million dollars. Now, Hasbro probably saw the success of the movie, as well as uh, My Pet Monster, Popples Julius Jr., Luna Petuna, and Treehouse Detectives, on top of the Power Rangers brand that's been around for 20 plus years, 25 years now, and has done a lot of money. Uh, and they decided they wanted to buy it out. Now, I can't really knock uh, Hyam Sabine here, or Saban here, because that's a half a billion dollar payday. That's, that's a good amount of money to retire on, right? You can, you can live a real, real, real good life. You could buy you could make your own megazord with that kind of cash anyway it says here hasbro incorporated and saban properties llc announced on tuesday that the toy maker will acquire saban's entertainment brands which include power rangers along with the other ones i previously mentioned the key however is the power rangers brand obviously the other ones you don't even know you, i talked about right what is what is treehouse detectives got no freaking ideas paw patrol no it's not Paw Patrol. Uh, the deal is a combination of cash and stock that is valued at $522 bi uh, million. Hasbro has previously paid Saban $22.25 million in licensing rights for Power Rangers in February 2018 that was slated to begin in 2019. That amount was credited to the purchase price. Yeah, if you're going to pop out $22 million, like, oh, no, 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 chalk, chalk that in. They offered him a cool half billion, uh, and then they just added that extra $22, to the, to the, uh, 22 million to the price tag. Now, for Hasbro, acquiring the rights to Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is key. Created by Saban and initially launched in 1993, the series has nearly 900 episodes, which airs in 150 markets worldwide, produced to date. And in 2017, a live-action movie distributed by Lionsgate Entertainment sold 142 million worth of ticket sales worldwide. Yeah, the movie should have probably done better because I don't think 100. I don't. I think its budget was north of 142 million. But anyway, the first set of products from Hasbro will be available in 2019. And it's interesting, though, with the fall of uh, Toys R Us, it kind of makes you question why they're investing in it like this, right? Like the toy market seems to be kind of dwindling, but they're they're spending half a billion to buy a whole bunch of new brands, inclu including Power Rangers. But then again, being in 150 markets and having in over 900 episodes means there's a lot of licensing there. There's a lot of money that's going to be made from this, provided they keep it coming. And I'm pretty sure that at this point, Haim Saban has, has made himself a lot of money. Uh, off of this stuff over 25 years. Now, it says your Power Rangers is an iconic brand built on a heritage of great storytelling. I mean, I'm going to kind of question that one there. Uh, it's fun, but I don't know if I'd say great. Uh, in merchandising with tremendous upside potential when fully executed across Hasbro's brand blueprint. This is coming from Brian Goldner, Hasbro's chairman and chief executive uh, officer. And it makes sense when it comes to merchandising, that is where a lot of the extra money comes from. And that's a big, you know, big thing. One of the reasons why we got Cars 2, Cars 3, Planes and Planes 2 out of Disney was because the first Cars, which came out in June 2006, while it may be a, a ripoff of Doc Hollywood, had over $1 billion in merchandising profits. So, yeah, merchandising, 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 if we're going to copy uh, <laughs> yogurt from Spaceballs. Uh, now, it says, shortly after entering into our licensing, licensing agreement, it became clear that now was the time to begin investing in unlocking Power Rangers' full potential. We see significant opportunity for Power Rangers across our entire brand blueprint, into, including toys and games, consumer products, digital gaming and entertainment, as well as geographically throughout our global retail footprint. And so they're trying to probably, you know, get a, out of the, uh, the, the, the bubble bursting of Toys R Us and moving into other retail stores like Target, Walmart, Kmart, or whatever those equivalents are in other countries now that does make a lot of sense when when you when you realize what they are going to do with this they're saying they want to do toys they want to do games consumer products digital gaming and entertainment entertainment being the tv show uh, maybe releasing a game or maybe giving us a sequel to power rangers maybe maybe green lighting that because they've got the deal uh, you know, Hasbro has uh, done the Transformers stuff. We know they want to kind of reboot Transformers and maybe do something different. And imagine if their entertainment brand is able to then kind of take Power Rangers uh, back to the forefront in terms of theatrical. Would they reboot it or would they would they move on to a sequel? 
I would argue that their best bet would be to move on to a sequel. Have a sequel, get the cast in play, keep their keep their contracts open, and go from there, and give us that six freaking movies. Uh, now, it says here that Haim Saban, the founder of Saban Brands and creator of Power Rangers, added 25 years after launching Power Rangers, I believe the future for this brand has never been greater. Uh, and he says, uh, it goes on to talk about his, uh, his his awesome leadership and awesome everything else. Well, that's the, and that's fine. The guy has, over 25 years, built a very popular, very successful brand. And it spawned three feature films, 900 episodes, a whole bunch of toys, a whole bunch of merchandising, and people still like it. I mean, I am 36, so 25 years ago, I was 11 when that show came out. And when I was in school, uh, we talked about it. We all watched it. We all went and saw the first movie, had the video game on the SNES. The Power Rangers is a staple in pop culture. Those other properties... Know what you're you're gonna forget about treehouse detectives because it's not paw patrol just saying just saying but this is a good move for hasbro which is probably gonna find a way to then transition a lot of that into uh movies they want to have more there that they're able to uh put out because you know they're working on more gi joe movies mask uh the rebooting transformers and now they can add power rangers into the mix that's a very powerful package to take to the studios that are looking for certain new brands and franchises they're, that they're going to be able to profit off of uh so we'll, it'll be interesting to see what happens when we get the, like probably the michael bay directed power rangers movie <laughs> i'm just calling it now it's going to probably be him or or uh or who's the guy that did uh who was his uh who was his protege who was that guy did disturbia dj something or another it doesn't really matter but anyway what do you guys think about this let me know in the comments below do you think that we're going to see more power rangers movies or power rangers tv shows uh is this a good deal is this a bad deal i'm just curious to know your thoughts so let me know in the comments my name is of course matt jarbo this is three buck theater if you haven't already please thumbs up the video subscribe check back often for more content from me in fact if you want to see more content from me you can do so right now